Yeah. Well, they ain't nothing loud. They ain't nobody with you. Okay. All right. All right. We'll go back into the zone now. All right. All right. Can I ask you for your name? Hmm? Can I ask you for your name? Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Mm -hmm. uh, R-O-N-N-I-E. E-Y. E-Y. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Ronnie, so can I ask you, what, what happened? What did you see? Did you hear a tree fall down? Or? We heard the, the crackling of the tree first. And then it, it the, the, the uh, trajectory of it, because of the, some of the tree limbs was already off of the tree already. So the trajectory of the uh, tree went to the right and it hit the building a little bit. And then um, it, it projectory back towards um, their, their, this is a two, uh, two part house. Mm -hmm. So it hit their backyard and they was back there um, um, having fun and everything, having a nice outing, family outing. And um, so we heard the crackle, we heard the bang, then we heard it fall to the ground. Then it was silent for a second. Then we heard the female started screaming. Um, so then they started saying, um, well, we already knew what the screaming and everything was about. They, uh, they managed a Mexican, so they was uh, talking in, 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 the, in the language. So, but they was, but we, so we just all ran over there. So this is right after um, a big uh, gust of wind came and, and the thunderstorms came. Right. The thunderstorm came and that's when it blew the tree down. And so we all, all ran over there, all the, the males that's on this block, and everybody came, and uh, we tried to help and assist and. Um, and we assist and um, we start doing chest compressions on him. Somebody do start doing pressure compressions on one of his friends. I told him to start doing chest compressions on him. So I'm praying to God that he's still alive or whatever. But he had a dash on his head from the tree hitting him. I don't know if it hit him on his head or his shoulder, but it definitely hit him. And we don't know if the whole the part of the bark of the tree hit him or the whole tree hit him. But he, he was still under the debris and stuff and everything. So the cops came, they rushed him. They finally rushed him before the ambulance came and took him to the University Hospital. And um, his pregnant um, wife, I, I don't know if it was his wife or not, but the pregnant lady that lived there, they had to rush her to the hospital because she was in so much uh, turmoil and everything. Like everybody, we all shook up by the whole situation and everything. But we, 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 we tried our best, we did our best. Oh, surely, I can see, man. Uh, yeah, anything like that ever happened on the block before? You ever no. had the trees come down? Or? Oh yeah, we had trees come down all the time in the backyard. This is East Orange, that's no, always no. happened. <laughs> no, no trees come down in the backyard all the time. 
No, I'm talking about everywhere, not just here. I ain't talking about just here. All right. And yeah. have you have you known your neighbors for a long time? They lived there for a while. Or? No, they just moved in like five months ago. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, and the last thing I want to ask is like, he described again. Like, how how did you find him? Was he underneath the tree? Like you mentioned. The I didn't tree. see all that part. Okay. Yeah. When, when we got there, I, when I got there, they was uh, they no, was trying to cap him and everything. So you gotta break this up, man. All right. Uh, you gotta break this up. Yo, you gotta break this up. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.